Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create strobe light effect using Wondershare Filmora 10. In my opinion, this effect is very easy to create uh, right inside this video editor. And you can also do the same, uh, do the same in other video editor too. And I'm going to show you how to create strobe light effect for your video and also uh, for text, uh, a title or stuff like that. Okay. Here I am inside uh, Filmora 10 and this is my example timeline. So I, there's nothing fancy here. I have a movie title, a movie lot here. And we have some text uh, on this track and this is a, a sample color. And down here we have a, some uh, a video background that I downloaded from uh, pizzabay.com. Uh, it is a free stock footage uh, website and you can also uh, go to pizzabay.com to download uh, free footage for practicing or stuff like that. Uh, let's delete everything on the timeline. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to create a shop effect for your video and how to create a shop effect for your title. Okay. First thing you need to select the position that you want to uh, create the, the shop effect. So maybe I will put it here. Uh, right here after three seconds at the beginning and now go to media okay and then uh, find the sample color so sample color in sample color you have many sample color here by the way to create this effect you can use uh, the white one so the white sample color just drag and drop it on the top track here at this position and the next thing double click at the at this sample color Okay, and find the compositing, uh, compositing tab uh, at the image. So here we have a, a menu compositing. Uh, we can uh, click this menu and change the blending mode to overlay. Okay, we can select overlay here. And this is the ov overlay uh, option. We can select it so we can create a, some kind of flashy, flashy light for the video okay and we're going to click ok and the next step we want to change uh, this sample color duration to one frame one frame okay uh, right click at the sample color and then select duration so we can uh, type here zero and the last number zero one okay so this is a one frame and we are going to click ok and the next step is very simple just straight out the timeline and then copy and paste copy and paste this sample color on the timeline okay to straight out the timeline we can press uh, our control key and scroll our mouse to straight out the timeline so this is one frame and we are going to copy this one select it right click and then uh, select copy and then we can use our arrow key on your keyboard just move one frame forward and then press ctrl v to paste this sample color another one and another one and another one okay and now we can copy all of this copy and then we are going to paste this one to save our time okay so you can do the now do the same for maybe two seconds three seconds or anything uh, as long as you you want okay so we can do the same so i'm going to just paste it here and now we have just created the first uh, stroke light effect for our video uh, let's play the video okay let's preview it first very nice right and uh, see here so it is a little bit choppy by the way uh, i will show you uh, the result at the end of this this video and also at the beginning of the tutorial uh, so maybe we can just uh, make it a, a little bit longer okay so we are going to make it a little bit longer because i'm going to add another title here okay just do the same so now we want to add another title. So another, another title say a stroke light effect, right? And we are going to lock this one and we go to the title again. Here's at the title. And now select blend text here. Okay. And I'm going to select basic six. By the way, you can select anything, any title here. Okay. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Anywhere, anywhere on the timeline. 
And the next thing, well, we want to change the title content and format the fonts and size. Okay, so I'm going to double click at the title. Here it is Lawrence Sum, and we can change it to Stroke Light Effect. Change to other fonts. Okay, I think this one is uh, look great. And the size, we can make it a little bit bigger, so signify, very nice. Okay, and we can do the same for the text, uh, just make it uh, one frame and then copy and paste and copy and paste, uh, do the same. So we are going to, uh, to change the duration, just right click at the title and select duration. Now we need to change it to one frame also, so here 0 and 0 one and then click OK OK and now we are going to straight out the timeline and at this position we can select it and then copy and then we can just move one frame forward just do the same one frame forward and we can paste it OK and we are going to copy all this title, all this title, and move one frame forward. Control V, and we can do the same here. And one frame forward. Control V, and one frame forward. Control V. Okay, and here's the, the final result. Let's play it. Okay, and I think it's a, it is a little, uh, a little bit choppy. By the way, I'm going to put the this result at the end of the tutorial so you can watch it. And that is how you can create chop light effect using one of Watershare Filmora 10. I hope this tutorial is helpful for for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below you want to watch more tutorial about Pimora 10 don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video like this okay goodbye and see you again